Hey there folks, Aldershot here, and today we're going to do a quick look into Sims, developed by Atrax Games, and is on sale on Steam at the regular price, at around $8 USD. Anyways, let's start getting into the game. Uh, it's essentially a puzzle platformer, but let's see, we'll go into select levels, so we can check out the game a little bit more. Uh, I think one of the first things that's going to really come across is probably the art style. Uh, has some pretty nice music as well. Hopefully I have the volume loud enough so you can hear it. Uh, but as you can see, it is a puzzle platformer. This is kind of how you get from level to level. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, actually. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more what's going on once we actually get into a proper level, like, say, this one here. Now, the art style and the music is quite pleasant. The art style is very surreal, to say the least. It has this interesting, almost pencil sketch look to it which is pretty cool uh, let's see let's go through a level that we've already done let's see this one here so we can talk a little bit more about the puzzle solving aspect all right so as you can see um, <laughs> there's little markers on the ground they represent different things right uh, the little markers with that looks like tree buds almost you walk over them when you're in the shadow form, I guess you can say. You get eaten up just like that. However, you can actually go into the ground just like this. It will allow you to travel through the negative space of the level design. And it's really about um, trying to coordinate uh, the negative space with the positive space. Whites being the positive, black being the negative space. And trying to figure out how to get your way through the puzzle through the level if you will as you can see i'm doing a pretty poor job of doing that so let's see if we can do a better job of figuring this out let's see i think we have to go over here usually these little arrows that you'll see um they kind of give you a hint to where you're supposed to go but sometimes they can throw you off as you can see there's a lot of them right and it's all about trying to figure out where you can actually reach and where you can't for example i can't jump up this high to the ledge up there. So what we'll do is travel into the negative space and we can fall, seeing how gravity is actually upside down in this mode, and reach it that way. So that's kind of interesting. Um, certainly is a different kind of puzzle platformer from other ones that I've played. Um, but I kind of like it for the most part. My biggest complaint about it though is that the resolution isn't proper 1080. Uh, there's also no gamepad support, which is really weird. This game definitely feels like it would suit gamepad very, very well. But there just isn't any support for it. Uh, so there's some a couple of quality of life issues, I would say, with this game. The actual aesthetics and the gameplay itself is fairly pleasurable, quite uh, pleasant. And once you're able to actually solve one of these friggin' puzzles, it's actually quite satisfying as well. Because some of them are actually pretty challenging. Let's see, here we go. We got a little platform thing going here. And alright, we solved our first uh, little puzzle there. But that's basically Sim. It's It gets harder as you go. We haven't finished the entire game yet. Uh, the game will throw more complications towards you, like these fans, right? These buds are quite a danger to you in the positive space. But these fans, I'll show you now, these fans are very dangerous when you're in the negative space. Let's see if I can get to an area where I can show you that. So right here, we go into the negative space and we hit one of these little saw fan things, we'll die. So as you progress through the game, obviously, the game will become more challenging, throwing more complications your way. Uh, but it's an interesting way to kind of design a puzzle platformer where the developers have used basically all the space available in the game all the negatives all the positive space and there's definitely an interesting art design going on here apparently reading from the description is supposed to represent uh, anxiety and depression and all that kind of stuff apparently you're playing through a kid's nightmare <laughs> and you're trying to figure your way uh through his subconscious in a way right but that's basically sim pretty interesting puzzle platformer uh, definitely has a lot of quality of life issues though, like I mentioned. Ooh, we already been through there. So we'll actually go back. Uh, eh, we'll just keep playing, why not? We're about to 
be finished with this video anyways but as i was saying um it's a pretty enjoyable puzzle platformer it has a really interesting art style but it definitely has a lot of quality of life issues the missing gamepad support and the lack of proper resolution is definitely the biggest contention i have with this game but otherwise a fairly enjoyable little puzzle platformer with an interesting concept and a pretty interesting look as well but anyways folks that's about it hopefully you guys found this informative Hopefully you found this enjoyable, and if you did, you know, show me some love, like, share, fave, and comments if you haven't already. Subscribe, I'll bring you more videos just like this. Thanks for watching, guys. All the shoutouts.